Howdy ho guys, how are you? Um, welcome back to my channel, my name is Kate, aka Kate the Redhead. I am doing this little bit of a tutorial along with my subscription to the Morphe box, so, or the Morphe bag per se. Um, originally when I did the uh, opening of the bag, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get to a tutorial, I've been super crazy busy, so I will have the tutorial after the bag opening, and I did use every single brush in this bag, so if you want to see how I use the June, July, oh my god, it's July already, the July subscription from, um, what is it, it okay, Morphe is, what does it say, live, pardon me, from Live Glam, keep watching. So today I am doing my Morphe bag, it legit just came in the mail, I know I normally have been doing a, like, tutorial type, get ready with me, but I've already done my makeup and it legit just came in the mail and I'm here. I'm just like sitting here stalking. Um, I sneak peek at these bags so I really enjoy this. So <clears throat> this month I heard they gave you the breakdown of what each one is for and you got all of these brushes. This is like legit a lot. This is the most I think I've ever gotten in a bag. Two, four, six, eight brushes. <laughs> so yeah. So you have the, oh this is cool, we have one of these in white that they sent us. So this is the M331, which is a jumbo crease. I do have this one in white. Um, I don't typically use this this kind of style, so maybe I'll try and use that in a tutorial and I'll put it up at a later date. This is the, interesting, M170-2 and it just says that it is a I'm trying to think which one this one I think there are two lip ones this is cool so you could probably use this for lip or and then this one you could use for lip or like detailed work like if you're doing like a really detailed like cut crease or inner corner so this is the M 250-2 and the M170-2. That's that one. It's going to be like short and sweet. I love this one. I have a couple of these. The E27. This is from the Elite line. This is a synthetic brush and it is a crease brush. It says it's a pro, pro round blender. I use it for my crease, so that's cool. It's like a hundred and some degrees here today, so I'm sorry. The M411, I believe I have this one as well. Um, I actually have a couple things in my Morphe cart. I'm hoping to get maybe the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm not sure, I'll have to see. Um, but this is a pointed blender, so when you would get in there with color and all of that, so that would be way cool, and that's what I use these kind for. Then you have the M207, and this is a small angled liner. Again, this is the M207. It's super tiny. Um, I, it's a, it's definitely like a uh, hair. It's like uh, squirrel hair or something like that. Um, so yeah, that's nice. This one I like is the M173. It is a wow. round buffer. What? is the M173 and it is a round buffer brush. I You can use this for whatever you really want. I mean, I bet you could put your foundation on with that if you have small face or, you know, concealer or whatever. And then I have the M168. It is a precision bullet crease. I would use this for like out here or if you were doing a cut crease, I bet you that would look real sweet. It's going. Will it go? All right. Okay, so... I'm hoping this is going to be a really quick tutorial. I will edit it out like crazy. I'm just going in with my uh, Jordana. Oh, this is Jordana. Hmm. 24 hour mid to last. I don't know why I thought this was something different. I usually like the Rimmel one. I do. Yeah. So we're doing, I'm using the new color pop palette and using my Morphe shadows. So will I, I will insert this. I'm going to do this look, or attempt to do this look, um, from Pinterest that I have using the ColourPop Please. I think this is the Please Me. Or Yes Please, Yes Please. So I'm going to use these shadows. So let's 
do it. Um, I'm going to try to use all of just the ones from the monthly subscription. So let's do this one with, I'm going to take this color right here and just kind of go all over. I love these shadows. I wore them yesterday and they're so incredibly nice. This orangey shade. Pretty, pretty high up. Okay, okay. Not bad. I kind of like this. It, it's just very like dense and for my eye shape, it seems to be pretty good. Which one is this? This is the Jumbo Crease. We have had company pretty much every day since Tuesday. Um, Sam from Sam's Beauty Sparkle and her family were here. So that was fun. They were supposed to stay until Saturday, but they ended up leaving yesterday. So they came Tuesday, left Thursday. I don't know. I always have a problem with this eye. I don't know why. It just doesn't ever want to blend. So anyway, so Sam was here with her family, which was nice, but it's like four extra people and it was fun. I haven't seen her in like person in two years. Like we Skype and stuff, but you know, it's just not the same. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we got the E27. I'm going to use just to blend that out. Just to fluff it out. I guess I wish I had one of those color switchers right about now. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. This one was good for like placement. It's a little stiff for my preference, but overall I thought it was a great like like right there, like placement. I'm gonna go in with this reddish shade and I'm gonna use this brush. I didn't wipe it off at all. I don't really care. And I'm just gonna come down lower most days. Anyway, so Sam left and now I'm watching friends of ours kids because her daughter, their daughter, broke her leg. So she broke her leg and her ankle in two places and then she broke her leg. So she has three breaks and she went into surgery this morning. So I offered to watch their kids and it's like, it's been nonstop. I don't mind it. I don't want you to think that I mind it. I don't at all. It's just like, I give you guys props if you have more than one kid. Cause I know my two are like crazy. So at least like when Sam was here, like she was here too. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take this M411 and I'm going to go in with, what should I do? Um, I'm trying to look at the picture too. So I'm going to go in with this color right here and mix it with this one. So I'm going to do those two and do that like split. There's Robbie. He's at work. Yesterday was his birthday. He was 21 again. I'm just kidding. He doesn't care how old he is. We're lucky he's here. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Alright. Going with this shade right here. Full zip. I didn't realize they had shades, so I'll when I'm editing, I'll go back in and put it in there. I am going to use this brush, the M170-1. I'm gonna put it on dry first, and then I'll probably pack it on wet. Yeah. So there's dry. Get some fix plus. I think it'll look better wet. Yeah. Much 
much more better wet. Go in with this brush. I did put a little bit more product on it. It should be enough to just do both sides. Yeah. There's plenty on it to just kind of blend that out. Make sure it's all blended. Blended. This person has like a really creepy one. Under the eye, it looks like it's pretty like dark and smoky, so I'm going to go in with these two, but I'm not going to mix them. So I'm going to go in with this one first. And put it down pretty far. And then I'm going to go, oh, the, sorry, that was the E18. This is the M168, and I'm going in with a little bit of that dark brown real close. I'm going to go in with my Mary Kay gel liner. I love this stuff. I'm scared. We're going to try this one first. The tip is a little longer than I like, but this is the M250-2. Maybe like maybe these would be like easier to use on other people. Are you hiding? In here, what's up? So this is the look that I did with the Morphe stuff. I really adore these like these shadows. They're cool. I don't think I can zoom in. Let's try. Okay, so there's the finished look. And yeah, so I contoured today with, um, just so you know, I contoured with uh, Taupe from MAC and my blush is Melba. So I contoured kind of bronzed with this one and Melba is like a nice peach. I did all of my foundation stuff first. I will list everything else in the down bar because I'm trying out this crazy expensive powder from Dior. I can tell you right now. It's the pits. I might do a whole video on like my setting powders and things like that. But anyway, so this is my Morphe review uh, tutorial with the monthly subscription. I hope you guys like this video. Thumbs up and please subscribe. Anyway, so I spritz my face. This is my look. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.